in this video I want to show you how you can draw uh, dot plot box plot with the informal conference interval using the informal conference interval formula used uh, in level 2 uh, NCA so hopefully you know the formula so let me write the formula so the in informal conference interval formula is like this so informal ICI is equal to median median plus or minus 1.5 times interquartile range divided by the divided by square root of n where n is a sample size so I have uh, done a random sampling I hope you, you should be knowing how to do random sampling so this is a random sampling a sample of 50 employed and 50 unemployed so this is the sample of uh, unemployed and this is a sample of employed now I'm going to use a program called insight which can be found for Central Hawks Bay students if you go on computer uh, student resource and if you go under maths or you can also download this on onto your computer it's a free program called insight so if you go on under maths and there's this is a folder called insight so if you click on that if you double click on this and double click on start that is it will take a while to load so I have already saved it under employment sample under data I'll show you how to import that so this is loading up so my focus is just to show you how you can use this program to draw calculate stats uh, draw the dot plot and box plot with the informal conference interval okay so if you click on run insight again it takes a while to load okay so let me maximize this so if you click on data in and out import data you can browse and then I know it's on my desktop I have first done the sampling and it, this is under data and that's called under practice assessment I got uh, employment sample and then you click on OK so this is your data okay so here you got gender you got employment okay qualification we are interested on uh, employment and debt so you, what you do is click on the title uh, click and drop and drag and drop so just drop it there so this is employed and unemployed so you got 50 percent for both of them and then what I'm going to do I'm click on debt drag and drop here we go so this has this is the this is the dot plot and the box plot okay so just let me talk about the dot plot and the box plot so here by just looking at it you can see this is this is right skewed and this is also right skewed okay so here if you draw a histogram it will be tailing to the right so this is also right skewed it has got a long tail so both are right skewed okay so comparatively this yeah I, I can say that both of them are right skewed so this means one times so this is 50,000 this is one times 10 to the power of 5 so which is 100,000 so this is 150,000 and this is 200,000 okay so there is a data which is uh, very close to 200,000 okay so now if you want to add the informal conference interval click on informal conference interval uh, it's uh, median and year 12 method of users year 12 
click on add interval it will add the interval so by looking at this I can say what would you say here so here we we can okay I'll talk about that later so let me show you how you to get how to get the summary get summary so here this is your summary so you have got minimum okay and then you got low quartile median upper quartile maximum and sample size is 49 and 50 I don't know what happens on data was deleted okay so yeah okay so and then you can take a screenshot of this so let me drag it up. okay so if you can open a word document okay so let me show you how to open oh, open a word document okay close it so let me write the so if you keep this open first and I want to put the stats first so you can drag it up like this get summary and this is your summary and then click on win, uh, word click on insert screenshot screen clipping and then you just so this is your stats okay and then you scroll down and I, I will close this or minimize it and now I want to take a screenshot of this you can also rename it instead of just plot uh, rename it so this is employment employment versus debt versus debt okay so this is your graph debt by employment okay so yeah let's okay let me first take the screenshot insert screenshot so this saves so much of your time and then if you go back to the word document it should be there so here we go so what are we saying so what are we saying here let me get the pen tool out so this is this is 100,000 this means for those who don't understand 1 e to the power plus 5 means mathematically this is 1 times 10 to the power 5 which means this is 100,000 and this means this is 200,000 okay so this is the informal conference interval of unemployed and this is the informal conference interval of employed so of course you can calculate the informal conference interval so this seems to be between roughly I don't know this is 25,000 so this is about 10,000 I'm not sure so yeah whatever that number is say let's say this is X and this is Y you can do that calculation yourself so you can say the median debt or the population median debt of the unemployed in New Zealand is between X and Y dollars and the population median debt of employed in New Zealand is between say A and B and here clearly we can see there is no overlap so there is no overlap in the informal conference interval means you have to make a statement like this there is no overlap of informal conference interval which means that it is very likely where it's very unlikely for the medians for the population median of unemployed debt to be equal to the population median debt of the employed so the statement that you need to make about the interval x to y okay so this is the interval x to y so whatever that number is so we can say I can state with reasonable confidence so it is very likely that the population median debt of unemployed in New Zealand would be between X and Y the same same way you can state here 
that I can state with reasonable confidence or it is very likely that the population median debt of employed in New Zealand would be between A and B. And then you can say if your question is do employed have less debt? If your question is if employ if does employed have less debt than unemployed, you can say as there is no overlap in the informal confidence interval and as the confidence interval of employed is to the right of the confidence interval of unemployed I can state with reasonable confidence that it is very likely that the employed will the median debt of employed is greater than the median debt of unemployed.